All right. I think we're live now. Everything looks like it's working. Welcome back. Hello. Hello, Munster. Yes, I know. Hurry up, hurry up, because you want to lay down and have a snooze to this awesome game music. Uh, and where is... Let's have a look. Uh, where is Munster, anyway? Let's look at the... Uh, my retinue. Which one was Munster? This one. Too bad I can't make him larger. Can't change your body shape to, like, large. Yeah, green. Mate, can I change you to pink? Yeah, I'm going to change you to pink. Yeah, pink and purple. There you go. Because I know you love those colours. There you go. You're pink and purple now. <laughs> Alright, let's continue the game. I'm sure we had a raid coming in, but seems to... Well, there's a soldiers over there, but maybe they're not coming to me. I'm pretty sure in another month we can be attacked, because that'll be two years is up. The two-year timer, which is the limit for the early part of the game. Oh, I did find out, too, that it is a bug. My large shields, I can't sell them. 26 large shields. I spoke to the developer this morning on Discord and he said, yeah, it's a bug that he's fixed. So it should be fixed upon release, which is good. A bit of a glitch, a bit of graphics glitch. A bit of rendering, I think. All right, how's my food? I'm getting a bit low. Enough firewood. Okay, food for three months, so it should be fine. Taxation minus 12, ouch. Really don't like being taxed, do they? How much money am I getting? Maybe I should reduce the taxes. You might drop it a little bit. There's big penalties. Oh, let's make... Oh, why well, can I make 10%? Can't take it up 1%? I make that seven. There, we, there we go. How about that? What is that? Purple and pink. And I'm trapped now. <laughs> Identify as tired. Pronouns. A sleepy nap. Yep. Well, pink, pink, pink is a soft colour, and purple, soft colour, good for sleeping. It's probably what you should make your pajamas. So I've got twenty-seven houses I've got 22 families so I've got enough housing for more pops now I've got my clay pit working haven't I so I needed to get clay tiles to upgrade this church yeah 10 clay tiles I think I was building yeah a clay furnace Need more stone. Make that high priority. I've got two apries running. The honey. It's one of the few regular sources of food I'm getting at the moment. Hunting camp is not running. Forager's not running because I can't forage in winter. I've only got three animals left out. So it's going to take a while for that to regrow. We nearly hunted it to extinction. Probably really need to move my logging camp. It's getting a long way away. Just thinking if I can probably bring my town down here. Much timber we got at the moment. We got we got timber and planks. person working saw pit. How many on the lumber? One. Our oh, raid is near, it says now. 33 days. Prepare for the attack. Okay. Yeah, now the raiders are near. Are they coming towards me? They're marching this way. 
Oh, they could be coming toward. They could be invading me, actually. Oh. There's no brigand camps. So I believe we are getting invaded. So what is this? This is 36 archers. 32 days. And we've got nine brigands, so that's probably not too bad. Um, I've got 62 in my treasury. Let's quickly add one more man at arms. And afford that, but I can't afford any upgrades, can I? No, not at the moment. So I've got seven man at arms now. He looks a bit. He's going, let's give him a, a shield. Maybe that one. Okay. Helmet. Looks alright. So they're coming through the forest. Oh, paused it. So what's our militia we got? 36. How many other weapons have I got? Seven war bows. How many more men have I got? 44, 36. I could equip eight. Let's make a new militia and archer unit. So now we will keep equipping war bows as we get population for that. Because we are building war bows. That just give me a little bit more forces. Oh. Eight to thirty-six. Did we get another family? No. The bandit camp was sighted. Where's that? Maybe they could be going to there. Oh, they could. Yeah, they could be marching to that. But you know what? I'm tired of this baron marching across. Across my lands or close to my lands. Let's do winter, still winter. Any problem if I mobilize, I won't have much um, <coughs> eggs or food. Nine now. Forty-four, thirty-six, eight. It says we've got twenty-two. Oh, it split. It split the um. It split them in half. Is that what they did? Oh, that's not really that good. I didn't want that. No, I don't want that. Now, I prefer to have spearmen because I don't want my unit split in half. All right. We can no longer tolerate this aggression. We will meet this aggression. That's the birds. Birds flying. He's got archers, so we should be able to close with those archers and decimate them, hopefully. So we just need all our people to rally. Here they come. Might lose some people in this, unfortunately. <laughs> some of our population. All right. So it looks like they're positioned. Let's. Do 
fend our lands. Balanced, let's see, I'm balanced. You might have to put missile alert on. How's the terrain looking? Pretty level, actually. No real advantage. He's not attacking us. Actually, you go that way. Let's go... Uh, I kind of do, I don't have enough influence. Ah. I can't even declare war. Oh, he's running. They're running, so. Bugger. So I can't even fight them because they won't declare war on me. So they are going for that camp. All right. Well, let's move back. <clears throat> oh, well, at least they're not attacking me. But they are crossing my borders. How can they cross my borders without declaring war on me? I don't like that. Anyway, we'll get our people back to work. They're heavily fatigued now. They're going to be tired. So I like how the fatigue, yeah, so you get fatigue minus 65%, cohesion minus 12%, so that must be as their fatigue levels. In home region, oh yeah, morale plus 90, experience plus 25. So that's disband. And disband. So they're not attacking me just yet, but they could in the near future. They, they could attack this camp and then turn around and come this way. Once, Probably once this is over. Yeah. So I know about that. Can he actually cross my borders? Mm, they should be allowed to cross my borders, I don't think. Again, another person there. New family started moving in. Okay, good. So we've got some more people. And we've built the clay furnace. So let's put someone into there. A new family can start working that. Because that will give us clay. I wanted to start building shoes as well, didn't I? Or making shoes. Ten more bows. Now they disappear in the forest, the fog of war. And it's good that. So food. Yeah, so as soon as I mobilised on my pop, I lost a lot of my food. Twenty nine shoes. Thirty three iron. Wooden parts, so I can start selling them too. All those shields I could have um, sold as well if it wasn't due to that bug. What do I need? Trade. Wooden parts is five and 130 for that. Am I currently trading? 
side arms. War bows. Large shields. Which we can't do. Just spears, seven. Side arms is eight, so that's a better buy. I've got shoes there. So am I doing shoes, am I? Ah, oh, yes, I do. I've got shoes. I did that last session, didn't I? I've already sold a few. Yeah, they're going for that, that brigand camp. It's a shame. I would have liked to have killed that, but uh, it just takes too long with your mobilised people. You lose too much from production. I need to get my retinue up larger. No roof tiles yet. So I need 10 roof tiles to upgrade the church. Oh, planks as well. Okay, that's all right. How many houses? I've got 27 and 20, so I've got four houses available. Upgrade some more level twos if I wanted to. What are we, February? Good, we're nearly out of winter. Waiting, beekeeper. Sick, ooh. I guess it is winter. We can upgrade a few of these to tier two, some of these buildings. They're all tier two there. He's got nothing in the backyards either. I think I need more vegetables. Well, these ones got nothing here either. Pen, shook pen, let's say goats. How am I going for leather? Pretty much used the door. That's probably because I'm not hunting any of the animals at the moment because they're down quite a lot. It's money, 72. So we're selling shoes, nothing in store. idea how my farms are doing. Waiting, going home, yeah. They can't do much in this um, weather. Stone 54, so we've got plenty of that. There's these armies. Oh, they're fighting. These guys are outnumbered. Probably gonna, they might lose this group. The Baron's Brigands, but the Archers should come in and help out. Let them get too far separated. Archers actually do surprisingly well in melee. I think they might be a little bit OP. The blood on the ground. Almost broken. Yeah, there we go, they broke. So the brigands won. Now they're going to go attack the archers. But there's 36, so they're outnumbered 2 to 1. 
Ooh, they could get a advantage on the hill here. Bit of a slope. Got a very big slope actually. And it's a forest, you think the archers wouldn't be as effective. This should be interesting to see. Now they're running away backwards. <laughs> These guys are gaining on them. Although... I thought they were going to stop there for a minute. These archers are just running, 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 running. Oh, they're charging. Ah, oh, they nearly caught them. Come on. They just can't quite catch them. Now they're back in my lands, are they? Yep, they're moving into my territory. Oh. oh, the archers are stopped. The brigands, yeah, they're affecting this 80%. Their morale is breaking. Wow. The archers broke those brigands quick. Corpses you left on my lands. Where are they going now? They're marching off the map, the look of it. Or oh. heading to the road, are they? Oh, it looks like they're marching off the map. Heading back home, wherever they came from. Oh, gold off has been claimed. Where's that? Here. Okay. This is not good. I really need to start getting more influence. Oh, look at my food. Wow. How have we got food for three months when it's down so low? Alright, we need to do something about this. Vegetables, 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 is it? Oh, yeah, vegetable plots, yeah, okay. This has got vegetables. What can we put here? This person, has this house got people? Yes, it has. What a big area here for vegetables. No, oh, as big as I thought it would be. There's a bigger plot. Maybe these ones. It will be. What, they, what would it be? Spring, spring soon. Mm. Eggs.
Where is... Don't hear the music. Well, there's a bit of music, but... Is there a music list? No. I think it's just because it's winter time. Ooh, made a lot of money then. Wow. What did we sell? We a lot of war bows. I sold a bunch of sidearms. And a bunch of shoes, was it? Yeah, I think a bunch of shoes. And some more money, good. Eight days till Raiders, Raiders near. So I think that's when we can actually be attacked. So I'll be interested to see if they actually send an army against us at that time or not. Um, have we got... Clay, we've got seven clay. Uh, roof tiles, we've got one roof tile, okay. Yep, we're slowly making roof tiles, good. Here comes the music again. So, where can we put more artisans if I need to? I'd like to keep some. One tier two for an artisan is that one. We'll keep one over here, maybe. Veggies. The veggies piling in. Firewood. Firewood's good. Oh, we've got lots of war bows for sale now. Shoes. That's what I was going to do. I was going to do those wooden parts, wasn't I? I trade for wooden parts. Let's have a look at that. Wooden parts, five. Cost 130. Yeah, let's do that. Export. And let's take it down to zero. So we're selling wooden parts. Selling shoes. Selling side arms. War bows. And we could have been selling large shields, but that's bugged. But instead we're selling the wooden parts instead of making large shields. So there's quite a lot there to buy. So that should give us some good income. And we'll let that build up for a while. So next thing, we just need enough um, roof tiles. Where's that? Is that here? Yeah, roof tiles. We've got three. We need more planks as well. We can upgrade the church. We just need the tiles and then I can get some more planks. Ooh, two days and then we'll see what happens. See if they actually send armies to attack us or not. Let's have a little 
Let's have a little walk for our town, eh? Run around, see what the town's looking like. These are our tier two buildings. The artisans. A lot of our crafting and weapons going on here. The church, which we're going to upgrade to level two in the near future. The market. Lots of leather in that. Not much food. We get a bit low on food. Oh, what was that? Another army was sighted. Hmm. Raiders prepare for the attack. and cart going straight through a building <laughs> we need to fix that parking like opera music quite a lot of activity going mission completed raiders near okay not sure I really did did anything. Don't have any points to do more here. I really want to get that armoring one. Heavy plow. Neighbors employing oxen at farmhouses. Okay. Plowing fields, that would be a good one. Sheep breeding. Apples. So I went down this wax. You can't get the wax either. I don't, I don't get any wax. February still. Food is quite low. It's only eggs and honey keeping us in the game. Good happiness has gone up. How's our animals? 7 of 20. You really need to let that grow a fair bit. Clay. 12 shoes again. Oh, I've sold a fair bit again. Made more money. It's like we've got quite a few people coming back and forth along this road for trade now. New mercenary company. Oh, we've hit March. The snow's starting to melt. But we did start sowing these fields last year. I don't know if they'll provide us anything this year or not. Probably not. So spring, frequent rainy seasonal deposits grow. Crops grow, possible droughts, harvesting, plowing, sowing crops. So probably not. They'll probably just be plowing the fields. Well, another family's moving in. Good. Alright, let's have a look where we can build some more houses. I'm going to maybe build a few more along here. The entrance to the town. Got a 
hard day. Nice big backyards. Actually, probably only quite that big. Maybe like that. Don't take too much of the forest. Two, three, four, five, six. Look at five. Get bigger houses. Six smaller. I'll make it six. So we keep our housing numbers up, keep our population growing. They can start working on that over time. Snow keeps melting. getting worried here now because we've got Baron now controls four provinces I only control one my influence just isn't high enough the biggest problem I've got is getting um, ale because my fertility sucks in this region. I got really gimped. Look at this fertility. Emma's all right here and here, but everywhere else it sucks. Flax sucks. Barley sucks, even though I'm just trying to grow it. I'm trying to grow a bit over here, but it really does suck. Rye is all right here and here. So farming is not a strength of this region. So I might just have to bite the bullet and import it. Which is a cost import. Eggs, apples. Barley, 12. Ale, 18. Ooh. It's expensive. So I need tavern supply. I can get church level two pretty easy, but tavern supply to upgrade to level three. That's what's really hurting me. The only way around that would be to build another town from scratch as a farming town. Bali is good in this region. But this region is pretty good. Bali, rye, everything. You grow lots of barley. You have nice farms there, even around here. In the south. These other two regions, not so good. So that's where I'm a bit bottlenecked. But I am growing barley over here. But so you can see here, now we're doing fields. Plowing progress 6%. Yeah, it's like, it's going to take them ages to plow this field. We've got two families, let's assign another family to this. Um, have we got any animals? Seven, yeah. Put another family on it. We we'll need one family to build these houses. I 
We've got this field priority set the highest. This one can be set to very high, yeah. Really use a heavy plough about now. Hey, what's that? Looks like we do have raiders now are coming towards us. Unless they're just going to set up a camp somewhere. I don't even know where they came from. camp there. That's why they'd never raid her, did they? I could send my retinue out there and go and kill that camp, get some more money. But how far away is that army? Mm. Yeah, better not. It's not too far. Plowing by hand, plowing by hand, waiting, plowing by hand. Sick. Ooh. Sewing. Yeah, so I'm not sure we actually even get the fields plowed and sowed this year. It just takes so long. Costs a, a tavern, five wood. Like maybe said it needs ale to function. Six roof tiles. So I need 10, 10 roof tiles, 10 planks. I saw an update too that um, they've brought in for trading. They've brought in a global market oversupply. So you can't just flood the market full of, a, you know, one type of good if you've got lots and lots of it and um, uh, the price and that should be impacted if you sell too much of it that's to stop those trade only bills which avoid farming which I think is good it forces you to have to do farming or agriculture the housing coming along down here slowly Brigands are still marching on us. Hmm, heading straight for us. working now. Plowing, plowing, still waiting a bit sick. Oh, where are you working? Oh, you're plowing. Oh, okay. So you actually need farmers to work these vegetable patches, do you? Oh. Ah, okay. 
Oh, they're helping, I think. I think they're helping there. Okay. And they're going to plant those vegetables. And they're sowing. Growing, actually, as well. Okay, so I didn't realise that. That's something else I've learned. Oh, my guy has recovered. Fetching water. Now, oh, okay, new house got built. Eight roof tiles. Once you get those roof tiles, I might put someone else under the saw pit. We need more planks. I could even use a second saw pit, to be honest. I like how I'm clear cutting this forest. I wonder what the fertility is here. Embers. It's bad. Barley. Oh, a bit of barley there. Bit of rye. So there could be a bit of farmland there. Build some houses through here. Snow is nearly gone. Two percent. I guess I should have started with a smaller farm. A small plot. It's probably what another lesson for the next game is build a farm, but you first make your first few plots smaller so they get done faster. Another thing I've learnt. iron wow we're really digging up that iron really digging up clay pretty quick too so I could probably I don't know any clay for a while I could probably take take this guy off Keep farming and I'm pretty sure I've got enough clay now Take uh, on uh, up the clay mining. Take him off for a while. Got enough clay. And put him on the farms. Let's really crank this farming up. Get them in the fields. See how that goes. about the damn it was a bit late on the rating
Come on, move around the back. Okay, now push forward. Push forward. Okay, there, we've lost six. There we go, we broke them, yeah. Well done, well done, lads. Get back to work. We defended our city. And now we've got all these dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna smell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We killed about seven or eight. And I didn't lose any of my retinue. Well done, boys. Look, I better... I better inspect what's going on here. Uh... Well done, men. Well done. You defended the village. Uh, you made a bit of a mess. What are we going to do with all these bodies? I think you better dig some ditches and just quietly get rid of them. Oh, there's all blood everywhere. Good fertilizer for the uh, farms, the veggies. You could bury them in there. That'd be good. All right. Disband. Go rest. Now, I think I need to build a corpse pit for that. Otherwise, that's going to cause disease. Let's have a look. Yeah. No construction cost. Not all deserve to be buried or consecrated ground. Use this building to get rid of any raiding raider corpses quickly. Workers become grave diggers. Alright, let's put it. Where can we put it? Where's a road? There's a border. Oh, I don't really want to put it down there. There's a church there. I'm not really worried about... Well, I probably won't put anything this close to the border. Yeah, let's just put it there. Let's make that the highest priority. Get rid of these bodies. It's not too far from the church, so I guess that's alright. Oh, here's a flute guy. Flute music. There's our food. Love how it looks in the summertime or the spring. Why do I have to carry this alone? Here we go, there's all my farmers are working now, good. Get that field ploughed. What are we about, halfway? Nearly. No, 43 percent. Now we've got to sow the field and grow. So how have we got long? We've got frequent rainy seasons, so crops grow, possible droughts. Harvesting September, November. I'm not sure I'm going to get a yield this year. I really needed to have ploughing and sowing crops last September, November, so hmm. we'll see. And quite quickly, 46%. Now I needed the roof tiles. Okay, so roof tiles is good. So let's put, let's take the clay furnace off for now. And let's put you in the saw pit. 
Because we need more planks, don't we? Yeah, we got no planks. We need 10 planks now to do a small church. That's one of the requirements, remaining requirements, to get to level 3. And then the next is a tavern. But for that I need barley, which is this field. Which is not very... Uh, not high fertility, I must say. But the best I can get in my region at the moment. If we look at the fertility, barley, it's just crap everywhere. It's rubbish. Maybe get a bit more there where I've been cutting down forests, but in the next region over over here, beautiful. How did I get so much influence? Oh, from killing the raiders, wasn't it? Now I could probably send my retinue to go take that camp because I don't think there's any raiders there, is there? No. We don't have any raiders coming in at the moment. Can't see any. Let's send my retinue out there because I might be able to get some um, money from that. Yeah, just run through the fence. Don't let a fence stop you. Okay, go for a walk and kill that camp. May as well jog it out because you don't need to save your fatigue for anything else. Alright, we'll let them do that. And that might give us some more money and some resources perhaps. Uh, where am I? I've lost my bearings. There we go. So we've got 30 houses. 24. Here we can bang and flute again. The corpse pit is built. Those bodies are going to be a problem. Let's stop construction for the moment. No other side family's gone to Ox. Damn. Ah, music is fantastic. How's the foraging? Is it back on? We are back on. How's our animals? Nine. Oh, he's a new family. Good. They can take care of construction then. We just need to move some dead bodies. There we go. Although you don't see him carrying the bodies. Graphics glitch is up in there. They're moving the bodies that we had for that battle. How's our army doing over here? Go finish off this camp. Maybe get some loot. Now they're only walking. We've got 36 spearmen. I'm building sidearms, war bows. I was building large shields, but I can't sell them, so. Uh, we're building wooden parts. Oh, why aren't they selling at the moment? Parts there. Eh? 
12 war bows in there. Eight sidearms. Probably have to put another guy in the trading shed because the uh, trading post because it's too many um, trading goods now. I'm selling shoes as well, I think. Yeah, shoes. Oh, look at this field go. They're nearly done. Good job, lads. Good. Four families on it. What's that? That's 12 people. Let's watch this see how much we stuff we get. Um, what's I saying? Upgrade houses. Make one of them making bows, sell bows at trading post. Yeah, I've got that. I've got a um, bow trader. I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, I reckon this game's great. I'm loving it. Love the music, love the gameplay, love the graphics. Let's see how much we get from this camp. There we go. We trash the camp. When searching through the enemy belongings, you find a stash of goods. They could be sent to your people, who surely need them, though it is your right to keep it. We send resources to the nearest town, which is our only town. This belongs in my treasury. Mm, I think I'm going to send it to the town. Regional wealth gained 148. Okay, so we gained a mini. Alright. Let's disband you now. They can't disband you until we're back in our territory, alright. Then, come back home. See, I've got my bow. So here's the Fletcher shop. He's producing war bows. Blacksmith, they're producing sidearms at the moment. Because I'm selling them. Uh... I'm producing a wooden parts at the moment. I was producing large shields, which equipped my um, spearmen and militia, but I was also going to sell the large shields. But they're, they're currently bugged in this version. You can't sell the large shields in the trading post. They just don't move to the trading post in order to sell them. But that's... I was talking to the developer this morning, and they've fixed that. That bug's been fixed in the release version, so that's good, because otherwise I could have sold those shields. But I guess I'll just keep them for my next military unit when I get that. Uh, what else are we making? Joiners. I think we had a... There was another... Where is it? Is this one? No, this one. Cobblers. They're making shoes. So we've got shoes. Which we're able to make a good supply of. 12. I think our biggest problem is moving resources from the, the warehouse. We've got quite a lot of stuff there we could sell. Oh, look, we made a fair bit of money then. 542. It's good. we we'll keep our tax revenue going up. How many families in the sawmill? Only two at the moment. That's, that's, that's maximum. Because I need to get my planks up. My planks aren't growing. I think I need a second sawmill. I have three oxes. I've got uh, two oxes here, and I've got another ox and a stable here. So I've got three oxes and a horse. What's this? Bodies need burial. Yeah, we're doing it. Look, they, oh yeah, they're nearly done. They're coming back. Sawmill. Uh, how many upgraded houses? I have. Uh, oh, what it says here, doesn't it? I have 10. 10 level 2 so far. I could certainly do more. I could certainly do more if I wanted to. Which I should do. 
I think they're currently building some more level one houses down here. The problem is food. And my region is just crap fertility. Look at the fertility here. You've only got a bit of fertility here and a little bit here. High fertility, flax sucks everywhere. Barley pretty much sucks everywhere. I'm trying to grow some here. Rye is all right here and a bit over here. A little bit there. So, not a farming region, although I am trying to farm here for barley so I can get some um, ale eventually. I think if you push tab, you can see info on the houses. Let me have a look. Oh, hold. Ah, oh, okay. Hang on. Ah, yeah, I see what you got. Yep, you're right. That brings up the, the, the display. So most of my tier twos are all here and here. So I've got the resources to make more. I just need more planks. Because I need... Um, I want to upgrade to level two church. But I just need more planks. So I'm thinking... Once all these bodies are buried, I can take this off. Maybe get another saw house going, a saw pit going. Got enough timber for a while. That's it, you bury, you bury those bodies. Alright, so the more houses you upgrade, the more families you get, you reckon. Alright. Well, I've got uh, timber, so let's have a look. Okay, can't upgrade those ones, why not? Fuel, same. Got over here, so I can upgrade this one. Let's upgrade two. Now oh, my planks keep going down. Construction finished. Another burgage plot. Probably what I can do is once I've finished here, won't be too long, and finish digging these bodies, are they finished? Storage, a dead body, a transitionary resource. <laughs> so there's six in there. I think there was about eight. No, yeah, there's still another body here. Seven. That's the last one. Let's disband. Okay, so they're sowing progress and crop growth, okay. Well, maybe we'll get a little bit this year, maybe. 138 days, estimated resources produced, days left to harvest, yield nothing. <laughs> I'll stop backseat gaming now. <laughs> oh, that's good to give, get a few tips. I did think uh, more tier twos would help, but I just had other priorities. Food's been a constant problem. Just hanging in there, really. Because my farming is crap. Fertility. Making it hard to get level three to get... Um, Barley, ale, malt, that type of thing to get the tavern working. So I can get the tier three and get more points.
Yeah, I've only got the one wild animal, so. I don't think I could forage more. Trading for food is a good idea too. Yeah, I could, I could trade for food. I could buy some food. It's just damn expensive. Bread, eggs, vegetables. Well, I'll see how I go for a while. Because I have built quite a lot of vegetable plots. Quite a lot of eggs. How's this going? Has he buried this one yet? Not yet. How's our planks going? Zero planks still. All right, let's get a... Can I build another road somewhere? quite get there but do, 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 do. Yeah, let's do another saw pit Do it there. The houses are all built. Corpse pits all buried, so let's get rid of that. Two on the saw pit. Let's get that built. And then we can get some more planks. And then I can at least upgrade my church to the next level. A bit more planks. And we got two houses upgrading to tier two. Let's just put that. sell bows low and then buy food and then grow fast yeah I've been watching other people play a lot and it's, it's harder when you're actually playing at the end streaming because you're talking and you forget things You'd be surprised how much streaming distracts you the um, where's my trading post there yeah I am selling um, war bows I'm selling war bows here Selling sidearms. No, I haven't quite yet. I haven't got quite enough um, influence just yet. I need a thousand influence, but I need to start doing that soon. Unfortunately, one of my early trades, large shields, which I've got 26 of, is bugged. So I got slowed down by that. I spent money to getting that trade up, but that's bugged currently. It is the bug is fixed in the, in the release version, but not in this version of the game. So that stuffed me early on. Selling shoes. And we're selling wooden parts. I just think part of the problem is, you look at the goods in my storage here. They're just not getting to the trading post, a lot of them. So I need to put some more people in the trading post, I think. So we'll 
get a few things built now, put some more people in the trading post. Timber, timber. Oh, was it the last time you were just beginning when I was watching? Oh, okay. Well, this is the fourth episode of my live stream, I think. So there are a couple more parts to show the in-between. See, I need to, I probably really want to expand to this one. For the farming, this is a really good farming region. Good berries, got more animals. When you look at the fertility, the fertility is the best. The fertility for these two regions sucks. And this guy's already expanded. He's expanded into two more regions. So I need to get a wriggle on. How's my, uh, my farmers going? Okay, they've nearly finished sowing. What's the fertility? 22%. It's crap. Burn the field. <laughs> Still waiting on logs. Here comes a log, is it? Well, the well, lumber camp's right there. Get some lumber. Waiting on one more log. Gotta watch and see if there's any brigands. Sometimes these brigands sneak up on you. Raiders. What are we, April? Damn, my food really bad. <laughs> uh, might be right, might have to start buying food. Maybe bread. Start buying bread. There's nothing in here. What are you doing, people? Transporting, peddling, stocks. Yeah, I think I need to get another person in here. Let's do that. Another family. I can hunt animals again. Sewing's pretty much done. So what are all your people doing? Because they've got quite a lot of people here. Plowing. Sewing, plowing. Where are they going? So this one's very high. Medium. Medium. off to let's put back on the hunting up on the forager transporting that's a bit better lots of transporting now because I've got a lot of supply here but a lot of wooden parts okay someone's grabbed a bunch of shoes just then war bows side arms they're my main trade, so there's a fair bit of money there. And then I could use that to buy food, because we are struggling. Let's set up a trade network. Let's buy 
I think we're going to buy bread. Oh, I could buy ale. Ale is not food. I prefer to see if I can get my crops making making the ale first. It's probably easy to buy it, but I like I like the struggle. Um, I'm going to buy bread. Import. Let's try and keep 10. For a start. The new family members are joining. Good. They help get us the saw pit built. Highest. Oh, actually, I think I put that one up there, didn't I? Very high. Alright, let's make that the highest. Actually, no, let's make you very high. The new highest. Because I want to get my plank production up so I can get this church built. How's the trading post looking now? Yeah, now we're getting goods in here. Good. Make some more money. That's the merchant coming. Doesn't look like you got much bread there, buddy. Where's the bread? I hope it's covered. I don't want soggy bread. Nothing worse than soggy bread. At least it's a highway of trade, this. It'd be good if they actually put the goods in the car. That's the only thing. They actually sell. I'd like to see that in the future. Oh, look at my food. Oh, my God. What is going on? All right. Due to necessity, I don't want to kill that. Well, let's more foraging, please. Hunter camp. the harvesting over there yeah I just reset it there it's always been there they've been hunting there previously it got down to like I think three animals left and so I had last year, so I had to stop it for a while, but I don't know why they've gone over there. Let's see what they're doing. It says they're transporting. What are you transporting? Oh, he's transporting meat, but where are you going, buddy? The wonder I'm not getting any meat. You're like giving it away to the animals or something. What are these guys doing? Okay, he's bringing some meat back. So is he. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe this one is following the road all the way back. Ooh, good money. It might be due to this ability here. Enables hunters to skillfully lay traps in the forest, which gives a passive income of meat. So I think that's what they're doing. I think they're hunting in other areas to get that passive income. Not there. But now they should go back to hunting there for a while. 
Oh, there we go. We've got 10 bread in. And I'm getting some meat, vegetables, berries, eggs. We should have some honey coming in as well. So, this should pick up. building. If I get the next level church going too, that'll boost my approval rating. Which I think it's gone down because of the lack of food variety probably, but that should go back up. Now that I've got my trades working good, yeah, there's lots of goods in there now to make money with. So I think that was the key, getting a, the second person in here, or second family. Now they're all transporting, a lot of them, stocks, goods for sale. I think what I did early, I expanded into maybe too many industries, because what happened is I got these alerts, not even after one year, saying I'm going to be raided. But what it was, is it was this Baron guy sending armies to raid all the brigand camps. They didn't actually attack me, but he had armies moving all over the map. So I thought they were coming to attack me. So I focused on getting crafting um, artisans making um, weapons like the, the, the war bow, which I was doing for trade anyway. But the blacksmith and the joiner, so I could make weapons, spears and shields to fill out my spearman militia. And so I focused on that early because I thought I was going to get attacked, but then I worked out, no, they're not attacking me, they're attacking the brigands. But by that time I'd already spent so much. And then I thought I could sell the large shields, but that's bugged, so I couldn't sell the shields. So then I had to save up money and build a different craft and get different trades, which is what I did. I was selling the war bows early. See, now I'm selling sidearms, war bows, large shields, I'm not making them anymore, I'm making the um, wooden parts. There are the wooden parts there. Selling shoes as well. So you've got up there, so you've got quite a few weapons really. slowly equip more units if I wanted to. How many men have I got now? I got 52 men. So I could, what is it, 36? That's 14, 16 and another unit. I don't want to equip another unit yet because when you equip, when you create another unit, it splits your forces in half, like whatever you've got into half. So that would go down to, I don't know, like 28 or something. 36. So I'll wait till I get 36 fresh fresh men to conscript so that will have to go up to 72 and I could form like a um, well I can build sidearms and shields or I can make another spearman I don't know do sidearms use heavy do um, infantry use heavy shields large shields or small shields A lot of houses have gardens and chickens, yeah. Um, I've got, hang on, uh, uh, ch chickens there, chickens there, vegetables there, vegetables there, vegetables there, that one nothing, yeah. Vegetables, vegetables, chickens, vegetables, vegetables, chickens, chickens, I think that's, that's goats. Goats, goats. So I probably could put... Might make some more chickens. That one's built. Okay, Sawpit is building.
But this is only the the second year. That was my second winter I went through before, so I've had was it one year, two, it's about no, two and a half years basically. Two full, two full years, so two and a bit years of winter now, because I've just gone past March is when I started, so it's twenty six months ago. Oh, all well, this in twenty six months, it's not too bad. Oh, they're actually ploughing this field. Well, I don't know why they wanted to do this field. It's on medium priority. What was this one on? Very high priority. So why did they go do the medium? I don't know. Level two finished. Oh, that was the chicken coop. Love the music. Bang and flute again. And the planks. So I use a lot of planks because I'm building wooden parts and um, weapons. Hey guys, just gonna make a phone call. So I'll call you, I'll be back in a few minutes. Freshly baked and still warm from the oven.
All right, back. Had a phone call about my one of my kids at school, but it's all good. Talking to teachers, all that fun stuff. So I've got to do a bit, few more planks for a little while. Oh, we've got 12 planks. Okay. So for some reason, our planks spiked, even though I hadn't had that saw pit built yet. Yeah. Highest priority. So. Well, we can turn that. Uh, how's our food looking? Berries. I really want to keep my berries going for a while. Yeah, let's build our planks up for a bit. It says I've only got three months of food. Mm, five planks. Let them do the construction. It's going to take a while to transport all those goods. Quite a lot of goods there. So, but our level two church will get building. Ah, oh, this music. I just love this music. Buy this game just for this music, I would. I hope they come with like a separate soundtrack or something I can like um, put on my phone or something. I can go for a walk or do a workout, listen to music. I find myself sometimes after I play this game for the rest of the day humming this music. <laughs> or, you know, just playing the music over in my head. We've got something else we could do here. Someone's sick. Put some more eggs there. So we're going to be building the church. Church is the priority now. Because I could upgrade some more houses. I mean, we'll leave everyone to transport that. All right, let's get let's uh, trade for more food. All right, well, that's, that's the chicken pen you're finishing. Let's go for 20. Let's bump it up. Minus 140. Did they just do it straight away, did they? They did too. They did instant delivery. <laughs> oh. I don't want to get too much more because then I'll probably get raided or something and steal all my food. Alright, what's chat saying? Love those chats of teachers and doctors explaining to you the kid's not autistic, just doesn't. <laughs> yeah. Mm. The forager can have a herb garden. Yeah, for the, the sickness, yeah. I should probably do that. I wonder if I've set the work here for this person. Just to make sure. The, the berries don't seem to be going up very quickly and I've got three people on it. Owns a market store. If you unassign them, the market will have to be taken over by someone else. Getting a basket, peddling, gathering berry. So, oh, okay, I got four. So out of nine people, four are actually gathering, or five now are gathering berries, okay. New mercenary company. Oh, good, I'm getting some more money. Some more money in the treasury. Good. We can actually start thinking about mercenaries. 20 bread. Getting some more eggs. Meat, vegetables. So once this is built, and once it gets a crop, crop growth. So summer, crops grow, possible droughts, June to August. Harvesting, hmm. Plowing, sowing in September, November. 
Oh, and you have a family moving in. Good. So we'll keep them working with the church. I wonder if I should just buy some ale. Build a tavern, buy some ale. Look, but 19% fertility keeps going down. <laughs> Second year, you get nothing. Yeah, it's gotta be crap. 19%. Minus one meat, how do you get minus one meat? Alright, have these houses got people in? They do. food production that way. How many of these houses are lived in? Probably none. What have I got? Oh, there might be a few. Two of them are lived in. They've all got stuff. They're building stuff. They've all got stuff. We've all got stuff. Right, let's put a... Let's do a herb garden. Okay, we've sold most of our weapons. Shoes. Wooden parts. Right, still gathering a lot of resources. Let's have six people working on this too. Okay, so we're in summer now. That's no, raining, so our crops should start to grow a bit better. Yield. I've got two. A yield of two. In 86 days, apparently. <laughs> wow. Alright, well, let's look at a. So we've got wool for sheep, pasture. Oven for bread. Uh, so for this barley, I'll need a. Is it just an artisan? That just turns flour. So a malt house, that's what I wanted. Barley into malt. Needs to be refueled. What do we need for that? Four logs. Look at that farm right there. Can we... Uh, it's probably too big, isn't it? 
Yeah. The farmhouse is right there. Hmm. Might have to put it out of here. Maybe just put it in here. Let's see if we can get a road through here first. We can. So medium. So they can build that after they build the church. A malt house. Just if we actually get any barley from this field, they can take it to the malt house. Yield three. <laughs> the fertility keeps dropping. I can see I'm gonna end up end up just have to buy buy the ale. Sell more goods, buy the ale, delete the farms. <laughs> They're just crap in this region. Forager can have a herb garden, yeah. See how that goes. Gathering berries. Jeez, my food goes down quick. Where'd that 20 bread go? Did I get raided? No. Did they eat that 20 bread? It couldn't have. We've got 12 bread now. There's, unless they delivered it to all the houses, maybe. All the food stalls. Let's have a look. Ah, oh, yeah, 16 bread. They're in the food stores, okay. Fair enough. Bread. Oh, so that's where the food goes, okay. So, it, so I've got 12 in stock. There's 16 there. Two there, so that's 18. Ah, very, so what's in the food market is not in your store. So this is what I've got. But the markets still have quite a bit of food. Okay. Another food one there. Another four eggs, bit of bread. Ah, uh -huh, so that's why. And look, 17 honey, two food. Look at this. They've got heaps of food. What are they crying about? Heaps of firewood. Firewood. There's more food. More berries, eggs. Look at this. My God! So this is wrong. That is not wrong. I've got food here for about two years. There's food for about two years in this market. But yet, if I run out there, they'll probably say, oh, game over. What do you reckon? Put a road through here, you reckon? And a road through there. I'll try it. Where's the hunters here? I can't actually build into there. Building it? Yeah, you can. Alright. And where's the forager? There. Let's try that. No real connection there, it doesn't matter, I guess. Actually, we can just build. Yeah, 
Now, why didn't I think of that before? Makes common sense, doesn't it? Building a road there to help your people get up there, I guess. Let's put... Although I'm not sure that's connected properly. Can't get through. They should be able to go up there though, walk around here and walk up there. Also, the other direction for the hunter too, so they aren't walking out of territory to walk road. Now oh, what you mean like over here? Connect this road up. It's a good idea, actually. Can't really. I can get through here, can't I? Yeah. A little bit of a bendy road through the forest. There we go. Walk through the dark, deep forest. No, it's not really much of a road. <laughs> it goes right through a tree. Good luck walking that path. You might want to have cleared that. Look at this. It's like straight through trees. Yeah. They need a little bit of clearing there. The flute is back. Here comes the flute music. It says two months of food. I don't believe that. I said, oh no, see there it was. It says, see, it says they've got five months of food. That probably takes into account all the store food. And I've only got two months of fuel. Firewood. We've got 49 there. That's probably only got two months here, I reckon. Yeah, it's probably because I've only got a little bit of firewood. Oh, that's 24 there. I probably just need to stock the, uh, this up a bit better because there's a firewood down here. There's two people in there. So I'm happy with my food. I've got five months of food now. Uh, I still think a good pipe song would be amazing. Yeah. Oh, my yield's up to ten, eleven. I think a lot of that was for a little bit from last year, the little bit of growth I had up here, probably. Thirty-nine percent for wheat. How's the church coming along? Mm, still gathering all the pieces. A lot of stone. Malt house and dropping off stuff as well. Geez, they get rid of that bread pretty quick. Heaps of bread there. See, I've even got bread here waiting to be delivered, so. That's not even included in here yet because it's not in my actual store. The amount of food here, you greedy buggers. This one's a bit poor. Oh no, he's got quite a lot. Honey. 
Lots of honey. Oh, that one's got bread in it. Look, it's carrying bread. That was good. So the carts do carry some things. I haven't seen many carts carry items, but the bread's there. That's good. They just dropped off 24 bread. So it's got the six months food. There, there we go. Cool. So it's definitely the food supply in your marketplaces, not what's in your store. Same with firewood. You gotta get the firewood into your marketplaces. Timber. All right, I think with the trading, let's take that bread down. We get, we got a lot of bread. Let's drop that down. Fifteen. Or well, maybe even back to ten. I think. Let's make it twelve. We've got lots of bread out there. Money of 149, 928. Good, our regional wealth is building up. So, what are all my farmers doing now? Because I don't, I haven't built a farmyard over here yet. Farmhouse, waiting, they're sick, going home, waiting, transporting. They must just be waiting for the growing season, are they? Yeah. So September to November is harvesting, ploughing. They could probably take the farmer off for a while. How much? Oh, we're down to five now. Ouch. Yeah, okay. So they can go hunt somewhere else. Forester's hut. You know what? Let's plant some trees for a while. Uh, maybe here. Because I wouldn't mind building some village down here. Actually, let's check the fertility. Barley. Uh, right. I, I just think this whole region is crap for farming. Stop it. We'll just replant. The woodcutter. Let's just replant this area. Um, Houses here one day and put a build a road along here. Not quite yet though. Oh, eggs went up. Bang! Must be egg laying season. 
215. It's good we could hire some more knights, but I'm going to let my tax money build up. Let's have a look at what mercenaries. Claim with king's favour. Hmm, but I don't have any of that, so I need a thousand. There's no bandit camps, is there, to go and kill? Nope. Yeah, upgrade houses, yeah. I just wanted the, all my workers to focus on the church. To get all the goods over here faster. But we could probably get uh, some more of the houses upgrading. Oh, more more people moving in. Good. I do want to build any people in this one. One there, okay. They've started moving there. So these ones are mostly empty. Delivering the roof tiles now. We're carrying the planks. can have more people deliver these goods if I need to as well. That could be the problem. I might need another person in the large storehouse to deliver goods. How's the market actually going with its range fuel? Looking pretty good actually. Hmm. Okay. Very good. Market's in a nice central location. So I think the problem with firewood, getting that up, I think it's more getting it from the, there's 51 in the firewood in the storehouse. Getting from the storehouse to here and then to the houses. Seems to be the issue. Uh, oh, there we go. Look at the church. Here we go. Looks like they're pulling the old church down. Oh, we've got to watch this. Oh, they're pulling the old church down. We're getting a new church, peoples. I hope you appreciate this. It costs a lot. A lot of influence, a lot of uh, wealth from your Lord has gone into this. I wonder what they do with all the old materials from the church, eh? Who's, who's, um, who's skimming off the top and taking all these resources, eh? No one told me about this. No one told me what's happening with all the old resources. Oh, there goes the stone. We've got like nine people working on this, so it shouldn't take too long to get the new church up.
Okay, so they keep part of the frame. They keep part of the church. Frame of the church and build a stone wall around it. Okay. That makes sense. So I won't hang anyone for stealing stealing the resources. Not yet. I can see so much potential in this game in the future, like building castles and keeps and uh, water mills and uh, water wheels and you know having more to do with the rivers and maybe some lakes or oceans, more resources like I don't know. What else can you have? Salt. Plenty more resources you can add to the game. Like back then, copper. Copper was pretty big for making copper pans and things. Copper, tin. Tin was pretty big. And so many different types of buildings you could possibly add. More tiers as well. Different types of trading goods. Animals. You know, cows. There's not really like cows for milk and stuff like that. Like those type of farms. You can add that in. You got goats. You got sheep. You got chickens. Cows is a big one, I guess, from medieval times. That's going to be a big tower. You better come back a bit here. That is a big building. It'd be good if I could actually climb up there and have a look from the top. Nice um, decorations on the outside. Windows. Can actually go in here. Oh, I can't get in there. Oh, oh, I found a secret passageway. There we go. I'm in. Okay, there's not much in here. It's a pretty, <laughs> it's a pretty barren looking church, I must say. Where's the, where's the altar? Those priests, they've been taking all our money all these years and it's just an empty building. Those damn priests. Never trust a priest. They're only in it for themselves. So is this actually finished yet? No, I don't think so. Not quite. What are we waiting for? Comes a bit of right. Oh, we're nearly there. Two more tiles. Yeah, he comes a flute guy to celebrate the building of a new church. So we can probably take some guys off construction soon and put them in something else. What are we up to July? You know, I want to build a um, I'm going to build a tavern because I think I'm going to buy some ale. I don't think I'm going to get much from this field. Twenty. So that's a third grown. So I'm going to get sixty. 60 barley? I don't think that's going to make much. Oh, we're over a thousand wealth. One more tile. How big is a tavern? Maybe we have a tavern. There's no... We've got thunderstorm. Can we have it down here? Maybe here at the start of town. Yeah, that'd be right. There you go, I have the tavern at the start of town. Right opposite the corpse pit. So they can just get drunk and go roll on the corpse pit if they need to. Oh, our church is done, is it? Yeah. So what happens when you assign people to this? What does that actually do? Assign people to a church.
Oh, now let's find out. I, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure what they do. We are plowing. You can now go be... Maybe it gives me influence. Oh, I'd like more influence from building a church. Upgrading church. And my people, oh, are a lot happier. I've up about 10%. Might be due to supply factors as well. Got quite a lot of food. Look at those berries coming in now. Wow. Eggs. Got food for six months. Construction complete. Baggage plot level two. Okay. Oh, what do we need for the Get the tavern built. So I just need a tavern supply and I can get level three. Tier three. It is really raining. Windy, stormy. Rain's coming down at a real angle. Lightning, thunder. God should be happy with me. I built him a church, uh, a stone church, a tier two church. He shouldn't be sending uh, gales. All right. What have we got there? I might save that one. Oh, that's got a chicken coop in it, okay. It's just got chicken coops. All right, we might save some of these for some more artisan jobs down the road. What do we need for this? Five timber. Surplus goods, total goods stored. Ah, okay. I should have noticed that before. So all goods stored in the present region. Oh, now I've got lots of food. <laughs> 47 shoes. A bandit camp. Oh, here we go. So this is currently showing surplus goods. Okay. A ruler's army was sighted. No, 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 no. How far away is it? There. Where was the army? Oh, you know what? We can probably beat we can beat them there. Let's. So they're going to have eighteen bandits. So if I, how much money I got? Seven. Hmm. So if I bought eighteen, nine, ten.
10 retinue. I think my retinue can take him. And now let's just... We're going to try. Let's not... We outnumbered nearly two to one. How far is it? It's not that far. I don't want to. I don't want to waste um, my retinue getting killed. I just want to get that extra resources and the influence from destroying this bandit camp and stopping him getting it because he keeps claiming all these regions, all this extra influence. I think that's how he got those extra regions because I let him kill all the bandit camps. My retinue might be able to take them, but they're not all upgraded, so. It will mean my economy slows down, but unfortunately, that's just the way it's going to have to be. No, go there. It's a good song as well. See, I'm not at war with him yet, so I can't attack him. You need 500 influence to declare war, so I could I could declare war on him. Ooh, what is what's the time? Ooh, I've got to be quick. I can't be I can't play too much longer. Kids are coming home soon. Let's get this on the road. Let's go. Ah, uh, don't run. Just walk, please. mode on or something shift no okay just want them to follow and now all right let's speed this up because I want to get this done before I need to go oh look here come the bandits out to meet me I got 16 of those 18 so my retinue probably could have taken them. Okay, just stop. Let the retinue go in the front now. Push forward. I don't know why you don't come around the back of them. Oh, they gave up anyway. 
Alright, you guys get back to territory. And double time it, please. You guys go take that camp and yeah. double time it. Do, do, do. Yeah, we got it first. Send resources to the nearest town, so that'll give us more coin. But I think I think we're going to take it to the treasury this time. 128, 100, yeah, good. Then we can get more soldiers. Turn the base. Get this back here. Alright, you disband, get back to work, please. It's alright, they can take their time. So, everything's going pretty well now. Now, our tavern is nearly built. Got plenty of money coming in. Now, influence, yeah. Next session, we're going to claim a region. Actually, you know what, I'm going to do it now. Stop it. How do I claim? Claim this one? Wall bar. They're not going to like that. That's what you get for, buddy. Can you start another tent yet? Um... Where was the... Where was it? Here. No, administration. Settlers camp, 250, but I've got the money for it. But uh, is, that, oh, is that my money? 250, is it? Ooh, so I might need to wait a little bit. But I've got to wait to finish claiming it anyway. Got to claim it for a while. Hopefully we can have a bandit camp up here and go raid it again. So the tavern's up. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up a trade route for ale. Ooh, 336. Ouch. But I have to do it. Import, let's, um, I don't know, 10. Get the tavern working for the next session. All right, I'm going to have to finish here because look at my kids coming home from school in the near future. That was a good session. I like that one. Just do a quick... button there. My field's even growing. I don't even see anything growing in them. There's nothing shooting up out of the ground. Or maybe this one. No. Well, the malt house is going to get built. Let's check on that. Oh, he's getting built. Okay, it's building. That's all right. Alright guys, I'm going to have to end the stream here, so thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you guys again soon when I stream again. Might be uh, tomorrow, tomorrow for me is the weekend, so it might be sometime tomorrow, might be get on for a few hours in between yelling kids. So the town is certainly growing, I just need to get up to get that ale in, and then we can start doing some tier 3 upgrades, and expanding out into this region. And building up my army and maybe having some bigger battles with this guy and trying to push him back. We'll see. Alright, bye for now.